Hi, it's Dave Mercer again, and welcome back to Facts of Fishing FYI. The fishing news, views, and info you can't use show. Well, without further ado, let's get this party started. With 73 pounds, 12 ounces, Shinichi Fukai won the FLW Eastern Series event on Lake Champlain. In second was Anthony Gagliardi, and in third, Jason Ober. But these guys weren't the only ones making news for their catches. And this next story is probably going to make most of you who live here in North America feel pretty good about all the fish we have to catch. This story's about Stuart Thurston. He's the long lost cousin of Thurston Howell III. No, I only made up that part, but he really does have a fishing story. You see, he caught a giant, giant fish, actually the biggest in his area. And, and are you guys ready for this? No, 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 no. I mean, are you really ready for this? What did Stuart catch? Stuart caught a goldfish. Fuck. That's right, a goldfish. It weighed seven pounds, five ounces, and it was the biggest goldfish ever caught in Britain. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not uh, downgrading Stuart's catch. I mean, that's a giant goldfish, and you know, I'm sure just like in Britain, all throughout the world, there's giant goldfish swimming around, but most of us just don't fish for them. I wonder how big a bowl you'd need for a seven pound goldfish. But who am I to judge? I mean, we've all caught crazy fish and crazy things in the past. Think about it, let's be honest, and that's asking a lot for a group full of anglers. Have you ever hooked into what you thought was a giant fish, fight it for a little while, and at the delight of your buddies, find out it turned out not to be a fish, it was actually a log? This kind of thing happens all the time, and that's basically what happened to the French government this past week. You see, there was reports surfacing about this giant 12-foot crocodile that was swimming off the coast of France. They closed the beaches. They called the army. They called the police, the fire department, and just about anybody else they thought could help with the ferocious beast. The good news is, the ferocious beast was captured. Shockingly, the ferocious beast didn't put up much of a battle when they finally tracked it down because driftwood usually doesn't battle. That's right, driftwood he usually doesn't fight back, and that's precisely what the French government was up in arms for. They saw some driftwood, they thought it was a crocodile, it wasn't, they caught it. It's now probably smoldering in a campfire on one of those closed beaches. But all the crazy catches from this past week didn't only happen in the other side of the pond. There was some crazy stuff that happened this side of the pond as well. Wisconsin bass angler Bruce Chandler was fishing a topwater along the shoreline when he got one of the most ferocious strikes in the history of fishing. Unfortunately, it wasn't a record bass or goldfish or anything with gills and fins. It was actually a coyote. You see, the coyote was hiding in the long grass along the shoreline. Obviously, he saw Bruce's frog and thought, dinner time. But the coyote isn't even the craziest person in this story. The craziest person has got to be Bruce. Because not only did he have a coyote grab his frog and get hooked, but he actually fought the coyote to the side of the boat, got his frog back, and went back to fishing. Bruce, take it from me, because uh, I know crazy. That's a little over the top. You don't unhook a coyote. I mean, you're lucky he didn't have like a giant Acme bomb strapped to his back waiting for the Roadrunner. Meep, meep. Well, speaking of crazy, things are about to get a little bit crazy on the Fraser River in British Columbia. Why? Well, they're expecting the biggest sockeye salmon run in over 100 years. How many fish are we talking about here? A few thousand few million? No, 25 million. That's right, 25 million fish going up the Fraser River. My only hope is that all the media sources that are so quick to report when there's lean years will be just as quick to report this year. <laughs> 